Hello, everyone. This is Pause with Wolf. Welcome to episode ten、um, of News at GFTV Fair Wave. <laughs> so right now, if you are actually notice that the sound is sound like different because、um, I am now using my brand new laptop to broadcast, and yeah. Apparently the microphones here is really good with Intel's、um, smart sound technology. So I'm gonna give it a test for today's episode and see how it goes. So right now, before we start with our new segment, let's get、um, this scintillating and well fresh piece by Leo Podkodalski. It's his study number two in D flat major after after Chopin's. Etude Opus Ten Number One. Actually,、um, yeah. Imagine playing that with the left hand only. Yes, this is a piece meant for the left hand alone, and well, it does give a lot of exercise to the left hand, which yeah, I'm really, I really have to try. I find for some reasons I find really difficult pieces exciting and fun. Well, you can say I'm crazy. <laughs> I tried Chopin's Etudes and. Oh, holy crap!、Um, I have friends. They were like, "Jesus, you played their pieces." <sighs> oh my god! But anyways, without further ado, let's get started.
with our new segment here on GFTV's Fur Wave. Today here on GFTV Fur Wave's new segment. Here's today's news first from the mascot fandom. Mascot Mania was flying high at LVIA Wednesday. The Phantoms and the Iron Pigs mascots landed at gates 7 and 8. Each team now has a major presence at the airport. They hope when fans and visitors fly in and are looking for something to do, they'll be reminded that they can check out for a game. Travelers also got a chance to pose for pictures with their favorite mascot, Wednesday. Well, and the next one is from the Fairy Fandom, which is, yeah, it's not a news, it's like an announcement. Hey people, are you excited? This Friday is Furthermore Inferno Equinox. Yay! Oh my god, but, uh, I'm yaying for you all, not for myself. I am stuck in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless, I hope you all have fun over there at Furthermore and Fernal Equinox. Yeah, both are starting on the same time, so yeah. To our furry friends, have fun at those furry conventions. And now let's move on to our weather. Currently, locally, we have clear with periodic clouds, with the temperatures now at 28 degrees Celsius, with a high of 34 and a low of 24. Right now, the humidity is 76% and the speeds now is... The wind speeds are 21 km per hour blowing in from the northeast. It's forecasted it will be partly cloudy tomorrow with a high of 34 and a low of 25. The chance of raining is 10% with the humidity at 62% and UV index at extreme at 11. So please have some sunscreen before you leave the house. And well, wind speeds will be 5 to 16 kilometers per hour. It will be around light. So, yep, winds, winds will blow in from the north until 9 a.m. and northeast from 10 a.m. onwards. This is Posy Wolf reporting for GFTV Fur Waves News segment. <laughs> Well, well, well. <laughs> so, okay, so because there's something I have to say, using a computer studio, I have to say, yup, it's quite nice, just at one thing. The, the available um, sound effects is actually different. Uh, my phone has this. Okay, so for previous episodes, and yeah, you must have seen it on JFTV's first stream, you could have heard this sound effect. If you can hear, let me turn up the volume and listen. This is the one. Hold on. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah. So this computer's um yeah, the moment I downloaded it, I am very surprised to see. There is no such effect in the computer. I was wondering why the variations between the platforms, between the computer and the phone. Yeah, it has the applause. And then, but this computer has, the computer studio has space for three more effects. They include this, the gunshot, the thunder, And of course the school bell. <laughs> well, 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 well. So it feels really different without the microphone. But um, I did some testing, and the um, Intel's Intel Smart Sound Energy. Yeah, the naming isn't just for the the sake of making it sound like a pro. This one actually works. It is really, really clear. I'll have to do some testing later on after after this broadcast to see whether it really really lives up to his name or not. So right now, without further ado, let's end this episode with 
um, Chopin's Waltz Number no. Seventeen, Opus Posthumous in E Flat Major. Well, 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 oh my god, I am so sorry if there's an ear rape there, but hey, the piece is quite nice, I love the walls, and right now, before we end off, I have some announcements, yeah, so, in case if you all didn't actually know, yeah, I'm gonna announce it the second time, the GFTV has, if you notice, the GFTV has, um, uh, ceased all information dissemination and excuse me content creation content production of and regarding the for the brony fandom and also seized our news program gftv brony afternoon so um yeah we now have three news programs left which we are considering whether to seize gftv news day as well and make the programs independent programs and we have and if we are doing that we will have to find new timings for them we cannot bear to be this inconsistent or maybe we can because now we are giving all direct latest and fresh out of the box news through GFTV's Pearl Wave <sighs> More details coming up um, tomorrow and Posri Wolf. I'll update you all to our social media accounts. So this is Posri Wolf. Thank you all and see you all. Bye bye. <laughs>